Welcome to Connected Media Live at NAB Show. I'm Bridget Nzeku and I'm joined by Charlie Vogt, CEO of Imagine Communications and Gates Air. Thank you very much for talking to us. Well, thanks for the opportunity. So the first thing I'd like to discuss is you're very well known as Harris Broadcast until recently and now you're Imagine Communications and Gates Air. What was the thinking behind the name change? Well, I think the name change uh, came really from the fact that uh, you know, we have two product portfolios that are really uh, uh, innovating on two very different ends of the technology spectrum. Mm -hmm. And that coupled with the fact that, uh, you know, we wanted to really utilize NAB as a launching point uh, for both of these two companies. And, uh, you know, you've got a Magic Communications that's investing and in, in innovating on the enterprise software, play out and automation and networking side of the business. And then you have Gates Air, which is innovating on the over-the-air transmission side of the business. So uh, while we share a lot of same cust uh, common customers, um, we, we have two companies that are really innovating on two very different ends of the technology spectrum. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's creating a lot of focus for the employees. I think it's uh, aligning us much better with uh, our customers. Um, and when you look at the, the vision and the long-term product direction of both companies, um, they're very disparate. So mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to align ourselves much better in the long run with our customers. You're a major presence here at NAB Show. What do you think the main themes are that are emerging and the hot buzzwords, as it were, that are coming out of this year's show? Well, I hope the themes and the buzzwords are what people are following that we're saying. Um, and, uh, you know, when I came into this industry 10 months ago, um, I felt like uh, it was an industry that was a decade behind mm -hmm. where it really needed to be uh, from an architecture perspective. And I do feel good that, you know, some of the themes and, uh, and some of the technologies that are emerging are those uh, technologies and architectures that are really going to help to advance the industry as a whole. And so IP as an underlying uh, uh, technology is something that this industry must embrace. Uh, it's something that is going to create uh, in a, uh, an innovation environment for large companies and small companies, and it's actually going to be a catalyst to be what the industry needs to get to a more standards-oriented environment, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which is ultimately going to give everyone an opportunity to accelerate uh, their businesses long-term. Mm -hmm. This industry is coping with massive change, as you've alluded to. What are the key challenges, do you think, for your customers? Well, I think that the first thing is is just getting to a place where uh, we have a large population of equipment suppliers and um, and broadcasts and networks that are are focused on the same standards. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is an industry, frankly, that hasn't adhered to standards mm -hmm. very well, and so I, I feel like there's progress being made. Um, the larger equipment suppliers like Imagine Communications and Gates Air really have to be the catalyst mm -hmm. to set the tone and, and really drive a lot of the value propositions around where innovation is, is going to come from. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you think about um, the benefits that the end user is going to get from technology that companies like us are providing, mm. uh, they've got to quickly adapt to the technologies that are going to be those types of enabler, uh, enablers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for companies to benefit from you know common computing platforms, they've got to open up, you know, the uh, you know the, their their architectures to where they're no longer closed. Mm. Uh, if you want to virtualize, get the benefits of virtualization and cloud-based uh, network architectures, you're going to have to get to uh, an IP protocol that are, that's going to allow that. So that's really the direction of travel for the industry as a whole. What what what's this what is Imagine Communications' focus for the next 12 months? Well, I think we're focused on really you know creating that blueprint today and three to five years from now that we can share with our customers that give them uh, the comfort that you know the technology that they're investing in today from us is technology that they can leverage three to five years from now as mm -hmm. the industry goes through a very transformational phase. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so um, I think it's moving from a baseband world to an IP world that's not going to be a flash cut. It's not going to be something that you know occurs next year. But I think we've got to get the, the very large networks and, and a lot of the entrepreneurial broadcasters to begin to adopt uh, virtualization and adopt this mm -hmm. notion of networks uh, that are defined by software and networks that are defined uh, 
uh, by IP as, as a catalyst to enable um, a new way of, of innovating and a new way of, of writing software code. And so I, I think that these are things that you're going to see, imagine, mm -hmm. um, you know, really focus on. You're optimistic, aren't you, about the future? I am. Uh, you know, this is an industry that's going to go through a very transformational phase. I, I you know, I, I experienced it. Somebody said to me the other day, it feels like you, uh, you're back from the future. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, you know, I really have because I've seen this movie, you know, occur already mm. in the in the mobile telecom MSO space where, mm -hmm. you know, we migrated an industry from a legacy TDM world to a next generation voice mm -hmm. over IP world. And, mm -hmm. and this is an industry that needs to go through the same thing if it wants to advance. Mm -hmm. And if you've seen, you know, what, you know, broadband and the internet and IP has done for companies like Facebook and Twitter and Netflix Absolutely, and, and yes. Hulu, you can see how important it's going to be for the media and entertainment industry to begin to adopt a lot of these technologies so that they can be as nimble as a lot of these next generation companies are and that they can take advantage of um, the power of virtualization and, and private and public clouds. Well, we look forward to seeing more from Imagine Communications and Gates. Thank you very much for talking to us. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you.